Howdy YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Gunman. So I put this video up to the top of the queue because I've had a few people ask about it. But yeah, I just thought I'd start the video off by giving you guys a good look at this uh, filter that I've got here. So this is mainly for removing the odors. So yeah, if you can't find one exactly like this, what you're actually looking for is a filter to remove odors for hydroponic setup. So yeah, I know it sounds a bit funny, but it, they work. And look, they're not 100% effective, but they're very effective. So yeah, this exhaust system and this sort of homemade spray booth is something that I've uh, been working on for a while. I tried a few things, some that did work, some that didn't quite work. One of the first things I tried was to get this V-form filter. And it turns out it didn't really work that well. So that actually has, it, it goes like in a V shape underneath there. That, so this is like an extra filter I've just added in. But it had like a charcoal filter under there originally and it just didn't work. It was too thick. It would grab the particles of paint and it would just block up really, really quickly. So I ripped that charcoal one out. The idea behind it was charcoal would hopefully uh, kill off some of the fumes, but yeah, obviously it, it just didn't work that well. It wasn't that effective. So I've got these filters here, they're actually quite cheap. These ones here, as you can see, they're full, they need a change. There's lots of dust in them now. But let's just show you how, how it works. Yeah, you can see that that's definitely, you know, sucking a fair bit of volume of air out. Yeah, so it's, it definitely does draw a nice amount of air in. But one other thing that I was finding, uh, originally it was just this, this setup here, right? And then I found that it would remove overspray from pretty much half of the garage. Like it's not fast. When, you, when you're doing a big job, it can take a few minutes to clear the overspray. But even then I found it would just stop sort of halfway here. So what I ended up doing is just getting a normal fan and that just sort of helps circulate the air. So yeah, I mean, I haven't really been using that as much now because I'm sort of at this point on the on the build here um, that I'm not doing so much painting. But yeah, it's still handy to have. I do actually have another one here. I'll give you a look what I've done there. So there's actually a little box fan behind there uh, and a filter so that the air that comes in is filtered. And I'll give you a look what I've done here. Um, I just punched a few holes in there so you can see the back of the box fan there. So it draws in a bit of air, but it's filtered because it's got that filter on the other side. This one here, I knew I needed something to make a filter box out of. And I was just driving down the street one day and I saw a baby change table. That's actually what the, the base of this frame is. And I saw that and I'm like, that's what I need. So I went, turned around and uh, picked up this baby change table, threw it in the back of the Corolla and made it in, sealed it up obviously opened up one end um, I just put some plywood on either end sealed it up just with some yeah cheap sealant from hardware store I put my extraction fan on top of it again that is sealed down and uh, screwed down too I then punched a hole through the roof and it's got that extraction fan on it I I covered it up on the roof as well I just threw a tarp over the top I mean if you can you you know depending on where you are what your setup is you're obviously going to have something slightly different than mine you might be able to go through a wall. I wasn't able to, so I just went up there, and yeah, it's been working. I'm not, I'm not getting any leaks, which is good. I'm not getting water coming through, and I'll give you guys a look. So outside here, this is my little shed, garden shed. So as you can see, there, I put the tarp over the top, sealed it down, um, and then again punched a hole through the side here, and I just got some expander foam and some tape, and it's sealed up here too. So. I'll give you this another quick look inside here. And that is where I put that filter roof. So, yeah, you, I do get a, a, a very low amount of fumes. Like, it, it, I wouldn't say it's, it's killing off 100% of the fumes. It's definitely not killing off all of the fumes. But I would say it's sort of above 80% effective. And as you can see, like, I'm, I am in the city, but I'm not kind of totally living on top of my neighbors if you know what i mean like i've got a bit of a backyard so um yeah this is somebody else's back wall but their backyard's up there so you know neighbors aren't absolutely on top of me um and another thing i try to do is sort of paint of an evening if possible i've heard some people say that they like to paint in the morning um in the warm weather because less chance of having um little midges and flies land in their paint but I'm yet to have that problem. 
To be honest, look, anything I paint at home, I'm realistic about what I'm going to be getting out of it. I'm not looking for perfection. I just want something that, you know, looks okay and I'm expecting to have to polish it. But yeah, just uh, be realistic about it. What works for me may not work for you. So I guess I can put a few links to those filters in the description down there. But yeah, that's about it, guys. I feel like it's a pretty basic video. Um, but in, at the end of the day, like it's a basic setup. And sometimes I guess you don't want to go uh, too over the top. You don't want to over invest in a in a garage setup but you know um yeah as long as it works for you that's all that really matters and another thing as far as heat goes i find these to be really really handy yeah just the normal heat lights you know these ones i've got here they're not ultra big power tech is the brand spray guns direct actually sent these out years ago like a long time ago and yeah like they actually run off uh 240 volt 10 amp anyway guys hopefully that has been helpful i'll see if i can find a link to these uh filters here but they're just the standard fiberglass filter they more catch the particles. It's, it's not really going to get rid of any of the odors. So what I want to do is remove the particles before it goes up into the fan or else you're going to be damaging the fan. But that fan there is also a sealed motor in it. So there's no sparks. So that's probably something that's pretty important because paint is obviously flammable. You wouldn't want to go and use just any standard extraction fan. You want to make sure you get one of these. They're not that expensive. I think I got that for like around $200 and that was it, including the five meter duct on it as well. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg. The most expensive thing was that the charcoal filter that I put out in that little shed. It was about $400, but yeah, just keep an eye around. Sometimes on eBay, you can get like a special deal. But yeah, hopefully that video has been helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you, but I'm a busy man, so I can't guarantee. Anyway, until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out.